A few years back, my friends, I reviewed the Nature Hike Mongar 2 tent, and I discovered while testing that tent out was that it was a good quality, highly waterproof, excellent shelter that also didn't break the bank. It came in a number of colors, including purple. I got this one for the ladies who watch the channel. You don't have to buy purple if you don't want to. It's not my first choice, but Susie liked it. Anyways, recently it came to my attention that there is a vestibule add-on for this tent. This is that vestibule add-on. In this episode, we'll take a look at it together and we will discuss whether or not this is something that you should consider purchasing before I test this out. I have to admit, this product is somewhat of a mystery, and that's because Nature Hike says very little about this product on their website. They do not state any sort of setup dimensions. They don't state the stored dimensions. They don't state the hydrostatic head rating, the waterproof rating. All that they state are the materials themselves, the weight, the color, and the price, and that's it. I'm not sure why that is, but Nature Hike definitely needs to correct this issue. Anyways, folks, I'm going to set up the Mongar 2, and then we'll take a look at this product. As you all can see, the Mongar 2 body has been set up. The first thing that you notice about this tent is the size. This is a very large two-person tent. This is a true two-person tent. My question is, in regards to the vestibule, how much usable space does it add to it? It can attach to this side or the back side. It doesn't matter. In other words, it attaches to the area with the doors. As far as the measurements go, this is 16 and a half inches long, and it's roughly three and a half inches wide. As far as what's included, I have no idea. The company does not state this on their website. So you get the storage bag, you get a strap that goes around it, you get the vestibule itself. It looks like you get one pole. Yep, that's correct. One aluminum pole. You receive three guy lines and five tent stakes. On the inside of the storage bag, we have setup instructions. You set this up before you put the fly on and the fly basically goes over the top of it partially. It looks like the vestibule clips in with the frame of the tent. Once you have the vestibule attached to the tent, then you can take your pole and insert it through the sleeve here. There are grommets on both sides to connect the pole to. Once you have the pole connected, then you can stake out the vestibule. Once you have it staked out in the front, you can go around staking out the sides and pulling everything taut. When it comes to making the adjustments where it connects to the body, I would be gentle with these. You want to have it so that it's tight enough to the body so that this grommet doesn't fall off the pole. If you make it too tight, you will deform the body of the tent, and that's not what you want. Now that the vestibule is attached, I have to say this is really, really interesting. I've never seen an attachment like this before. Interesting is the key word. So you have a large door here. You can roll it back, tie it off. You have multiple points for guy lines. You have two vents up at the front. And with this vestibule, you only have one door. So make sure to attach it based upon the way that you want the door orientated. The best way to explain the way that this attaches to the tent is this. You have to remember that the frame for the tent becomes the frame for the vestibule. So the vestibule connects to the pole. There's a metal grommet. It goes underneath the grommet for the tent. It is fully adjustable. The first clip goes above the first clip on the poles for the tent. It clips on the pole and is fully adjustable. The second attachment point is high up on the side of the center of the tent. You have the frame pole that goes through a sleeve and then you stake it out. You can also stake it out at the pole junction. I would recommend paying attention to the straps because these are going to be confusing. You have two straps that go on the ground. This one here and you have another one that goes underneath the vestibule and that's going to give the vestibule its shape and prevent that pull from spreading out too much. At the door, you have a storm flap that goes over the zipper. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It really is. Like, this is so short, you can't sit on a chair comfortably inside of this. I mean, really, you basically have to be down on your hands and knees. So this just does not make a lot of sense. What you could use this for is storage space, right? You might be able to fit the majority of your bike, but not all of it. This is for space and nothing else. Let's measure this real quick, okay? 
<laughs> this is ridiculous. The peak height is 33 inches. From the tent, at the widest point, it's about 68 inches long. And it's going to be about 64 inches wide. Someone who's much better than I am at math can figure out the square footage on that. <laughs> After going over the measurements on the inside of this, you can see that it creates a lot of space. Storage space, not livable space. Again, this is too short to even sit in a chair. It simply will not work. It's funny, on the Nature Hike website, there is a picture of a guy. I was thinking to myself, what is he doing in there? You know what I mean? In the end, it's storage space only. It's not for anything else. Let's take the fly now, let's put it on. Let's see how that works with this vestibule. And then we'll go over some stats, the stats that I have to share. As you all can see here, the fly has been put on and basically it goes over the top of the vestibule. You connect it and set it up the same way that you would without the vestibule. The exception is that this side, the door does not zip shut. You have to unzip it, lay it over the top of the vestibule, roll up the doors and zip it down enough where the vestibule is fully protected. Before I summarize my thoughts concerning this product, based upon my experiences so far, my limited experiences, let's go over some stats, or at least the stats that I have concerning this product. Again, there's not much that the company shares. This vestibule is for the two-person Mongar tent. It is made from a 20 denier nylon. I've provided the setup measurements, and also the stored measurements. The weight of this kit is 1.7 pounds. It is available in only one color this light gray color. At the time of filming, it is $80, and it can only be purchased from the Nature Hike website. As far as stats go, folks, that's it, that's all I got. To summarize the setup process, for the tent, very simple. For the vestibule, there's gonna be some struggling involved because you're always gonna to have to be figuring out like where does each clip go? What side are you looking at? How do you wanna have this thing orientated? The setup process, it's not super complicated, but it will take some time. That's the best way to describe it. As far as the quality goes, it looks good. It's not super great. With that being said, Nature Hike is generally not known for having like the best looking tents ever. Sometimes there's loose threads. Sometimes there's a lot of loose threads. The thing is this, even though the products don't look super amazing, the overall quality of their products is generally pretty good. I've never had a failure from a Nature Hike product. Yes, there are companies out there who make tents that are better looking in terms of quality, but those products are going to cost quite a bit more than those from Nature Hike. As far as the materials go, top notch. As far as the size goes, not bad at all. Weight, it is slightly heavy, but it's not overly bad. Getting in and out of this is a true struggle. I have no idea why the company shows a picture of a guy crammed underneath this because it makes no sense. This is not space for people. And with that being said, I think Nature Hike needs to be a little bit more clear about that. They certainly need to show that aspect on their product page. They don't need to show a picture of some guy crammed in here because that makes no sense at all. As far as this product being waterproof, that is something that we will have to test out. I mentioned already that this is available in the gray color and the gray color only. That is an issue. The Mongar 2 tent is available in a ton of colors. So as you can see here, we have a purple tent and a white grayish looking vestibule. It really doesn't match up very well. If this was a better product, if this was more usable, I would say Nature Hike, make it in additional colors. But as is, I'm not sure if it really makes a difference. And that right there wraps up my preview of this product. All in all, I'm not very impressed. It does create additional space, but based upon what Nature Hike has shown, I thought this was large enough for someone to actually use, for people to get underneath. <laughs> Could you imagine two people on their hands and knees under this? It's hilarious. It's funny and it's not funny at the same time. By the way, everyone, before I go, I should mention this. The overall price of this is rather high, $80 for the vestibule, considering the fact that you can find these tents on sale sometimes for around $100. That really doesn't add up, right? A tent that costs 100, 120 bucks, even 140, whatever. Then you have the vestibule add-on that costs $80. It really doesn't add up. So for what this is, I think this is rather expensive. Those are my thoughts concerning the vestibule. Now I wanna hear from you. Comment down below. What do you all think about this product? Do you think this is something that you would personally use with your Mongar 2? You know, talking about the Mongar 2, this is an excellent tent. It's large, it's not that heavy. 
It's not that expensive. The quality is good enough. It's waterproof, or at least I've never had any sort of leaking issues. Talking about the weight of this kit, when you take the Mongar 2 and add this, you're bringing the weight up to around six pounds, which is not super, super bad if you need the extra space. I think it's unfortunate that you're adding that much weight, but yet this is something that you really can't use. Again, it's for gear and gear only. I will have a test night episode coming up very soon concerning this vestibule, and we'll see if there's any sort of leaking. Stay tuned, coming up soon. Everyone, I am done. Take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.